Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to tell you about an upcoming series and put out a call for collaborators. Now before you say, oh this video isn't for me, I'm not a YouTuber, I hope that you will stick around, find out more about the series and perhaps you'll want to share a suggestion with me of who I should ask to collaborate or maybe you'll want to share it with somebody you think might be interested. Let's go ahead and find out more. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I don't know about you, but every day I find inspiration online that I can bring into my own crafting to make a creation. I love to be inspired by others. This has been evidenced in the past when I hosted the Oh So Inspired collaboration here on YouTube. Each month, the team would take one piece and we would all be inspired by it in some way and share a new project. If you're interested in seeing those videos, I will link that playlist in the description box below. But I thought instead of having a team of collaborators and making it once a month, that I would try to stop by on most Saturdays and share with you another project inspired by a creator and have them do the same on their YouTube channel. What I have in mind is like the collaboration I did in May with Ardeth Percy Robb. She created something based on a sheet load of mine and I used her inlaid die cut technique on a card for my mom. I will link that video in the description box below if you want to go check it out and see more what I'm talking about. I decided since I was going to be inspired and I wanted to do these videos on Saturdays that the collaboration would be called Inspired Saturdays. The first Saturday that I will be stopping by is July 11th. I'm so excited to share with you who inspired me and create a project based upon one of her creations. And here's where you come in. If you're not a YouTuber, like I said before, I hope you'll keep watching and then maybe suggest somebody to me or share this video with somebody you think might like it. But if you are a YouTuber and you would like to inspire each other and maybe help our channels reach out to a new audience, I would love it if you would apply to join me on a Saturday. In the description box below, I have a link to a Google form that you can fill out and send in. What I'm looking for are not YouTubers with large channels or large followings. I just want somebody who I can be inspired by. So if I stop by your channel, I'm going to see process videos or project shares. And if you are on Instagram and you share your crafty creations there, I would also love to be inspired by a project that you have shared there but I will still come here and make a video. And if you would select something you see of mine on Instagram, you would still come here and make a video too. This will be kind of an ongoing call. I will just keep that application open and consider those as they come in. On the form though, which we will go over in just a little bit, it does ask if you're not available any Saturdays through the end of 2020. So it is a little bit far out, and then if this does work out, then I will continue it and make a new form for 2021. Let's go ahead and take a look at the form that I would like you to fill out. When you click on the link in the description box below, it is going to pull up a Google form that looks similar to what you see here on screen. At the top, I have a little blurb about make sure you watch this video first and email me with any questions. And right now, my announcement video link is just a placeholder because I'm currently working on that video. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out and kind of talk to about some things as I go along. For your first name, obviously your first name, so I would type in Alicia. If I could spell it correctly, I'm trying to type around a microphone. There we go, Alicia. My YouTube channel name. I'm going to put in call me crafty owl. Oh no, I realized as I was editing this video that I forgot to include one of the most important questions in my Google form. So if you click on the link that is in the description box below, 
it will now ask you for your email address right below your first name. Please make sure to provide me with an email address that you check frequently. This will be the email address that I communicate with you about the collaboration. Now on to the rest of the form. Now, because some channels have similar names, next I need you to give me a direct link to your channel. So you're gonna go to YouTube, find your channel, and you're gonna copy the URL. So control C to copy, come back to that form, control V to paste. Next, I ask how many subscribers you currently have on YouTube. And I am not worried about minimum subscriber count. It doesn't matter how many subscribers you have if I feel I can be inspired by you. But please just go ahead and kind of let me know. Right now I'm right around 11,700. So I'll type that in. How long have I been sharing videos on YouTube? Again, no requirement here. I just want an idea. I have been on here just a little bit over four years, so I'm gonna click that. How often do you post videos? Just kind of give me an average on this, and again, no requirement, just wanna get an idea. I would say, on average, I probably do three to five, no, I probably do more than three to five times monthly, maybe one to two times weekly. Are there any Saturdays between now and the end of 2020 that you would not be able to participate? Now, do keep in mind that this is a video that you are going to schedule anyway, but if you know that you have a busy week or a busy month, just let me know. So for instance, I know for me, August is going to be busy. I do plan on still doing collaborations in August, but we are going back to school, so I might wanna keep that in mind. So I might just put all of August 2020, but if you have a specific weekend, you can type that in too. Don't forget these are on Saturdays if you want to pick a specific weekend. Do you know how to schedule YouTube videos? One of the requirements for this collaboration is your video has to go live on your certain day at 7 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. It is not an option that you don't know how to schedule videos. You do need to know how to do that. So if at this time you don't know how to schedule videos, no problem. Go search for a video here on YouTube how to do this. I know that there are some out there and it's really easy. Anybody who has a YouTube channel can do it. So I'm going to click yes because I do know how to do that. Do you know how to find your video URL before it goes live on your channel? When you upload a video and you're in your YouTube studio, I think it's called, after you've uploaded it, you can actually find the video link. Let me get my channel pulled up on the back end and I'll show you how that works. So here's my list and for instance, this video right here, it is the process video for the July 2020 sheet load of cards. It has not went live yet. So if I click on this edit or that pencil and I go over to the right, here is the video link. You would just copy that and send it to me back to the form. So I do know how to send that video link. Now this is one of those things that you do have to know how to do. So if you don't yet, go practice that and then fill in that form when you're ready to say yes. The main focus of your channel. Now you might do card making and scrapbooking and hauls, but I want you to tell me the main focus. So for me, that's card making. I will sometimes do an altered item or a haul, but mostly I make cards here on this channel. Now down here on the Instagram account name, this is not required. Like I know some people just keep their Instagram account for their own personal use and don't have anything crafty. But if your Instagram account is public and you would like me to consider an image on there, go ahead and put in your Instagram account name. Now I wanna go to my Instagram account and you know, you might say, oh, my name is here, right here, call me Crafty Al. Actually, your name is right here at the top. It's all like one word. So I would go to the form and type in with the at symbol. That way I'm gonna find the exact Instagram account name that I need to find. How many Instagram followers do you have? If you need to know that, it's on your page right here. 
If you were to choose one of my videos or Instagram posts to be inspired by, which would it be? Please provide a direct link to my video or Instagram post and explain why it inspires you. Okay, so let's say on Instagram, you were inspired by this video or this picture. You would click on it and then up here, you're just gonna copy and paste that URL. Oops, I forgot up here, after you paste in that URL, I also want you to explain why it inspires you. Now that doesn't mean that that's the piece you have to choose if you are chosen for the collaboration. This is just to get kind of an idea of your thoughts and to make sure that you're on the right track of what the collaboration entails. So I might put, anything that you might say on your video, why that inspired you. So this next one, have you ever been part of a collaboration before? If so, tell me a bit about your experience. I might just say the Oh So Inspired collab was hosted by me and just maybe give me a sentence, just how you thought it went. Next up is the checklist. It says, if I am chosen for the collaboration, I agree to. You do have to agree to all six of these points, just so you know, to be able to send that application off to me. So first, I agree to create a video and it can be a project share or process or tutorial based upon one of Call Me Crafty Owl's videos or Instagram posts. And I will do the same for you. I will create a video based upon one of your videos or Instagram posts. I agree to talk about the collaboration, how I was inspired, link to the original inspiration piece, and Call Me Crafty Owl's Inspired Saturdays video. And that again is the link I will provide to you. I agree to schedule my video for 7 a.m. Central Standard Time on my assigned day. I agree to include Inspired Saturdays, and call me crafty out in my video title. I will include inspired Saturdays and I will include the name of your channel or your name in my video title as well. I agree to provide a direct link to my video no later than 24 hours before it is to go live while still having it be unlisted or scheduled. So what that means is you wouldn't go ahead and post it on Friday morning and then send me the link and I post on Saturday. You would schedule that or you can do it as unlisted and then make it public at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time on Saturday. But you do have to provide me with that link at least by 7 a.m. the day before. So if you're scheduled for Saturday, July 18th, you would have to send me your link by 7 a.m. on Friday, July 17th. And finally, I agree to have fun. Really, that's what this all is about, is just to be inspired by each other, maybe get a couple more subscribers, get some new viewers, and just to have fun. Now here at the bottom, this is totally up to you if you wanna add anything, but you could say anything else you would like me to know about you. Once you have filled that out completely, you would click submit. Oops, I forgot here. Gotta check off all those boxes. Then you click submit, and then I will get a notification that you have applied. Please only fill out one of these just so I don't get anybody confused. And I look so forward to seeing your applications. If you have any questions, you can leave those in the comment section below, or you can also email me at callmecraftyowl at gmail.com. I hope that you'll stop back by on the 11th, and I can't wait to be inspired by you. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.